Hello, this is Quentin Jones of Q107.3, and I am here just to announce the sad news that influencer and founder of Smooth Juice Enterprises, Eric Freeman, has been allegedly poisoned. Now, if you ask me, all those health smoothies are poison themselves, but we here at Q107.3 will keep you updated on all the news. God. That sucks. I certainly agree. This just in, Sydney Smith, the girlfriend of Eric Freeman, is under house arrest for his alleged murder. Now let me just say, I wouldn't mind being under house arrest with her. Quentin Jones, Q107.3. Michael, I've been thinking about the murder of poor Mr. Freeman. It's so unfortunate to hear about such things. Have you heard any updates? Girlfriend's in house arrest. Seems like the cops got it covered. You and I both know firsthand that police investigations are often inadequate at finding the true cause and culprit. Michael, I believe you should check in on this. You're an unbiased third party. Stephen, I'm more of an uninterested party. Besides, I got clients to deal with, and I'm really tired. Your paying clients are just curious people, wanting to know if they're being cheated on. Small-time pocket change. Freeman's death could lead to bigger things for you, Michael. You could become a legitimate investigator. Legitimate? What is it with you going on and on about legitimate? What does that even mean to you? My name on the news? A big freaking office? It means nothing to me. It's, it's more trouble than it's worth. Michael, do this for me. As a favor. You don't have to dig deep. Bare minimum. Just ask the girlfriend about the alleged murder. Please, Michael. It would mean a lot to me. Please, Michael. Stop talking about it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I get dressed. Wow. Steven, I think we're in the wrong job. This is a nice freaking place. Stay here, okay? I don't want to hear you talking to me while I'm talking to her, okay?
Hello? Are you with the police? I already told them everything I know. No, I'm Mike Porter, private investigator. Can I ask you a few questions? Um, I already answered all the police questions. You could talk to them if you want. Look, can we cut out the middleman? I don't want to be here either. Can I just come in? Okay, I'll start off easy. How long were you guys together? Did he ever cheat on you? We were together for four years. And of course not. He was always honest with me. Okay, okay. How long were you guys working on that channel together? About two and a half years. How close would you say you guys were? Did you have a separate bank account or did you share one? That's none of your business. Honestly, it's not. The police report said you poisoned your boyfriend. Is that true? Yes, I did. What poison do you use? I slipped him rat poison. He never expected it. Did you say rat poison? Yes. Now, why would you go about killing your boyfriend? He, he wasn't telling me something. I could sense it. All right, whatever, I get that. But why didn't you just confront him about it? I knew. I knew he wouldn't tell me the truth, so I decided to poison him. The police already have my confession. There's nothing you can do. I know. Thank you for your time. And I'm sorry for your loss. One more thing. How much rat poison did you use? I'm sorry, what? Like, you had to measure it or something, right? Go ahead. Say I told you so. She's lying, Stephen. There's something else here. You owe me big time. I had to sneak into the coroner's office to get this. I'm so sorry. I hope you didn't risk your job for me. No, I'm fine. Besides, you said it was for a good reason. You do owe me, though. Ah, yes. No good deed. Of course. What do I have to do? That's everything on the autopsy. I also think someone I work with is selling pharmaceuticals, and I added that in there. I'll catch him in the act. Don't you worry. Till next time. Bye. Oh, God. Hope this answers some questions. Till then, I'm going to take a nap. If you must. There doesn't seem to be anything of note. She's telling the truth, there's rat poison listed here. Gray bean, do you know what that is? In the car, you said that Sydney and Eric used all natural ingredients, right? Yeah, that's like their thing, right? Ray bean isn't a real root. It was artificially created to add more sweetness to drinks. It's a factory-made vegetable, and it's expensive to produce. There's no way a small outfit like Smooth Juice could add this to their drinks. Is it really that lethal? Because if it is, shouldn't it be illegal? On its own, it isn't. But it must have reacted with the bromethylene in the rat poison to kill Eric. That's it! It's such a happy sweetener, it canceled out the taste of the rat poison. It has to be someone with resources. When we tried to create it at my old lab, it took two weeks to perfect. That's what you did as a botanist? Well, I mean, I wasn't a chemical engineer as well. 
Damn, you were a nerd. Whoever did this must have had a factory and, you know, was in the game. Game? You know, smoothies and juices. So that Ray Bean was in those, so whoever did this must have been in that world. So your hunch is a rival juicer. I think I know a guy. I'll give him a call. I'm surprised by how dedicated you are to unraveling this mystery, Michael. Well, it's like you say, it's better to do something than to do nothing. Let's get out of here. So, I got good news, and I've got some bad news. Which would you like first? Good, please. Alright, so the good news is, I know who owns the factory that you're looking for. But, the bad news is, it's Vanessa Fox, and I don't mean the porn star. Is that somebody I should know? She's the reigning CEO of Juicifer. She's got a massive empire of companies, warehouses, labs, and an ego to match it. If I were you, I would not be wanting to mess with her. She fits the bill perfectly. I want to know how much Fox makes, can you tell me? Alright, Vanessa Fox. She's worth around 42 mil, not too shabby. Seems like she got most of that from her stocks. Wait, wait, can you see if she's bought any stocks from Smooth Juice? Yeah, okay, right here. It shows a couple of days ago she short sold this stock. Man, she must have made a killing off that. What's short selling? So it's basically when an investor borrows a stock, then sells the stock, then buys it back to return it to its lender. Short sellers are betting that the stock will drop in price, and when it does, that's when they make their money. <sighs> now, how would she have known to do that? I mean, if she was an investor, she had to have had close connections. It seems she's an investor in a lot of small companies. This could just be some random short. Michael, without a doubt, she's involved. James, is there any way you can get me closer to Vanessa? I could set up a fake interview. She does love talking about herself. She's like the James Corden of CEOs. All right, handle that for me, okay? I'll have you there in a snap. So after all that, and he still wouldn't let you peg him. Sounds like a disappointing first date to me. <laughs> anyway, loyal listeners, that's all we have for Weekday Zoo. Quentin Jones, Q107.3. It's an honor to meet you. My friends called me Robert. Can I call you Vanessa? No, you will call me Miss Fox. Also, why did you bring that plant here? Oh, this? It's a gift to lighten up the room. By the way, I didn't know you were a fan of uh, Weekday Zoo. Uh, being someone as so high class as you, I didn't know you were. You could be a fan. Oh, it's definitely a guilty pleasure, but I like listening to normal people issues. It can be funny how embarrassing they can be. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. Um, I'll start off easy. What's your favorite flavor of juice? I would say my personal favorite is Berry Blast. It seems to be a hit with my customers, too. You seem to have plenty of options for new flavors. Did, do you have a hard time coming up with new ideas? Honestly, no. My favorite part of product creation is that the only limitation is my mind. And then I assume you have no limitations? <laughs> exactly. So, do you like a sweeter juice or something more natural? All of our juices are natural. We have some secret ingredients, but only the best are Juicifer. On the subject of Juicifer, what would you say the company's biggest strength is? Honestly, me. I make decisive directions, I'm willing to do what it takes for the company to succeed, and I can sense the atmosphere of change. You seem to be very confident. Would you say that your confidence has led to the success of this company? along with my eye for the market. Do you uh, <clears throat> uh, dabble with stocks? <laughs> I don't dabble in stocks. I execute trades and buyouts. I short companies for fun sometimes. I'm a master strategist when it comes to getting what I want 
Bobby. You seem like a very busy woman. What do you do to relax? I'm sure running a company is a very stressful thing to do. Oh, well, I like going to rock concerts, sailing, or visiting the beach are all ways I like to relax after a strenuous day. On the topic of strenuous, you must have so much competition. How do you deal with it? Oh, dealing with competition is easy. You just have to hit them where it hurts, whether it's sales, marketing, or company shares. Sometimes I'll even befriend my competition just to get to know them. I'm sure you're undefeated in the realm of uh, juice. Would you say you're a benevolent ruler? I would say yes. I'd consider myself kind and generous to all who fall under the banner of employment here at Juicifer. What would you say is the best thing about working here? Easy. I would say the sense of unity the company has, which allows the employees to maximize their efforts. I find that very interesting, because your employees like to say that you're somewhat of a tyrant and that you don't care about them too much. Would you say that's true? What? Oh, you know, the whole nine yards, you know, you overwork them and you don't give them enough breaks and you underpay them. Would you say that's true too? Absolutely not. Those are all lies. So I'm guessing the allegations of insider trading aren't true either. I think this interview's done. I hope you have a nice day. Okay, okay. One more thing, though. Would you say that you pay your engineers that produce raping well? I mean, you wouldn't want bromophylline to be found in any of your drinks. Those don't react well together, right? Take your fucking plant and leave. Now! I noticed you uh, were pretty quiet during the interview. You good? Yeah, I had nothing to add. I mean, you are pretty good at getting people annoyed. Come on. Now that we know Fox is involved, what's your plan? I'm gonna go to Sydney and I'm gonna tell her that I know the truth. Then we're gonna go to the police. It feels good really helping people, doesn't it? <sighs> Certainly does. Are you Mike Porter? Uh, who's asking? Stay away from Vanessa, you got me? Yeah, yeah. Steven, I think our suspicions are clear. We need to talk. Are you okay? I'm fine. I know it wasn't your choice to kill your boyfriend. I knew you were lying when we first met. Story didn't line up, so I did some digging. And what did you find? I know Vanessa Fox was involved. And I know you put the rabian in the smoothie that you gave him. And I know you couldn't have done that by yourself. You talked to Vanessa? <sighs> exactly my thoughts. I know she's involved. You have to help. We can fix this. It's true. Everything you've said is right. Vanessa was involved. She forced my hand. Let's stop her together. I can't. Can't or won't? Both. She says if I get involved, she'll hurt my family. Give me a moment. We're so close, I, but I don't want to put her in more danger. Fox hit her somewhere very personal. Do you believe that if given the same opportunity, Sydney would strike back? Steven, you're a genius. I always was the smarter brother. Yeah. Still are. Sydney, can I tell you something? I used to have a brother. He was a botanist and a chemical engineer. Definitely the much more successful out of the two of us. I miss him. I keep him close, though. He used to have a saying, sometimes it's better to do something than to do nothing. 
What I'm trying to say, Sydney, is that I understand. Fox hit you hard, but you can hit back harder. I might just have a way to stop her. Like I said, there's no way to do this without hurting my family. Why not use Weekend Zoo? We all know she's a fan of it. Sydney, do you happen to know what Weekday Zoo is? That weird radio show? Yes, Fox listens to that. If we get you to call, you'll have a direct line to her. If you think this will save my family, I'm down. Great, let's call the station. Hello, this is Quentin Jones of Q107.3. This is Weekday Zoo. Tell me your name and what wild things you've been up to this weekend. Hi, my name is Sydney Jones. I just want to give a shout out to my dear friend, Vanessa Fox. I just want to say, I know you did, bitch. And if you don't want everyone else knowing about it, you'll meet me in the parking lot in the central headquarters of Jucifer at 5 o'clock. I think she's pissed now. Oh, I know she is. Don't worry about going. I'll go for you. Stay safe, okay? You too. And one more thing. Sydney, your family will be really proud. Hey there, saved you a seat. Somebody's looking a little more casual than usual. Surprised to see you here, Michael. Did the gorilla tell you that? Believe it or not, you're not the only person good at digging up dirt. Now just tell me what you and that little cunt want. All we want is for you to come clean. <laughs> Absolutely not. Besides, Sydney knows what'll happen if she goes to the cops. That's why I will and she won't. I have all the evidence I could possibly need to take you down. I doubt any law enforcement would believe the word of a man who is clinically insane. Like I said, you're not the only one who's good at digging up dirt. These mean nothing. Yeah, but the video of you talking to Steve does. No one will believe a word you have to say. All this for another company? Is that what a human life is worth to you? Oh, it's more than that. They were in my way. And like I said, I'm willing to do what it takes. So if that means poisoning my competition so I can buy out their shares, I'll fucking do it. You're a monster. No, I'm a businesswoman. And you and Sydney are fucking idiots for thinking that I would just surrender after everything I've done. I did not topple another company to lose to a man who talks to a goddamn plant. So if you'll excuse me, I have some meetings to attend to. So goodbye. But tell Sydney to be expecting a little visit. means poisoning my competition so I can buy out their shares, I'll fucking do it. Well, I hope it pans out. Hello, I'm Indigo West, and behind me is the main headquarters of Jucifer, where CEO Vanessa Fox was recently arrested by police for the alleged murder of influencer and founder of Smooth Juice Enterprises. This shocking news was brought forth by private investigator Michael Porter in conjunction to a testimony from Sydney Smith who allegedly was blackmailed by Fox. We here at Channel 8 will make sure to update you with any further news. Back to you in the studio. Well, it looks like we did something after all. I certainly agree. Janice had the clue, he was 12 years old. He fell from the roof on East 29. Kathy was 11 when she pulled the plug. 26 reds and a bottle of wine. Bobby got leukemia, 14 years old. He looked like 65. In upper Manhattan, slime Vietnam, bullet in the head, Bobby O'Dino, Drano on the night that he 